We're with head strength and conditioning coach Darren Fisk before the cystic fibrosis walk in Salamanca this Saturday. Uh, Darren, if you would kind of talk about how you got involved in this, uh, you've had a lot of success the past uh, five, six years at this. Um, how did you get started in this initially? Well, obviously, uh, my nephew's involved with this. Uh, he was born with cystic fibrosis. Uh, it's a disease that affects the lungs and the digestive systems of the body. Uh, I'm trying to think, this is our seventh year. Approximately six years, seven years ago, uh, we went to a walk in Ellicottville, and while it was very good, uh, it just wasn't well attended. And we thought, as a family, we could do something better um, and make it more visible in the community. So that's the first year. This will be our seventh year uh, with the walk. And uh, we just really do it not only to raise money, but to raise awareness and, and, and to get the word out about what this disease is and uh, they're very close to a cure, but it's gonna take more funding and more time and stuff of that nature, uh, and that's why we do the walk. Uh, you talked about the awareness, certainly it's good to bring awareness mm -hmm. to that, but also the money that you've raised. You've raised over $100,000 in the six years that you've done it. Talk about the support and the participation that you get from the St. Bonaventure community as well as the local communities. Uh, first of all, the kids are great. The first year we did the walk, the kids were like, well, what's this about? And, um, you know, they, they didn't quite understand what they were doing uh, in regards to, uh, you know, the, the kids now generate, are, are going out and trying to generate donations themselves uh, to get sponsored uh, to do the walk. But basically when we started, the kids didn't even know what we were doing. Now it's to the point where the kids are asking me every year, when is the walk? Coach, we're doing the walk this year, right? Uh, and it's it, it's tremendous. On top of that, you add the local communities. Uh, you know, the Allegheny, the Olean, the Salamanca, the Little Valleys, uh, all the little communities that surround uh, the SBU community have really been tremendous. I mean, if you think about it, in six years, we've raised over $100,000 in a community that doesn't, you know, a community at large that doesn't even have 20,000 people in the area, you know, that that's, you know, you look at eight to 10,000 people in this immediate area, you know, you're, you, you're generating a lot of money every year uh, for research. And matter of fact, it has become such an event, uh, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, uh, they, they just can't believe a community of our size can generate the amount of money that we do each year. Talk about the fun little competition that you've started here in recent <laughs> years with uh, the team from St. Bonaventure that raises the most uh, amount of money and what you <clears throat> then are allowed to have them put you through. Uh, I've kind of changed it up the last two years. Uh, the team that has uh, raised the most amount of money, uh, I let them take me through uh, a workout of their design. Uh, as I get older, I'm finding that those workouts are a little bit harder to recover from. So this year what I've done, uh, in the past the baseball team and the men's and swimming and diving team, uh, they have been the past winners. Uh, what I've done this year is I said as collectively, as a department, as a team, if they can raise uh, from Bonaventure, not, not my whole entire team, but the team from Bonaventure, if they can raise between $2,000 and $2,500, I will, on the mile and a half slash two mile course, I will push the prowler sled with 200 pounds on it uh, around the course. Uh, so basically, they're pretty close right now. Uh, and so it looks like I'm gonna be pushing a prowler with 200 pounds for about two miles. <laughs> so, but it's worth it. The kids have fun with it. Uh, you know, they're gonna probably tease me all the way around, you know, push coach, push. So. I just, you know, I want to have fun with it, but, you know, I want to give them a reason not only to help me, uh, but, you know, if they're close, maybe a kid will throw an extra five bucks in or something like that, because any dollar raised is uh, one dollar that's closer to the cure. And talk about how people can get involved. If they can't make it out to Salamanca on Saturday, there's still ways for them to, to help and get involved donation. Kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, basically, you can go on online. You can donate online. Uh, www.cff.org 
uh, or you can Google Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Um, and we'll take you there. There's a menu on the left hand side, it says Great Strides. Click on that. Uh, it'll say Find a Walk. Uh, you just you put New York. Uh, and it'll give you basically it, it's really easy it's a drop down menu you can find the Salamanca one uh, I'll give you I'll, I'll give sports information a direct link that you can put right on uh, online uh, but it's really easy it's secure uh, I've done a challenge with my Facebook friends I have a thousand Facebook friends that if they could donate one dollar that's a thousand dollars you know not nothing too taxing but any dollar but if you feel feel the like you want to help out, anything online would be great. Uh, it, it's processed immediately. Know that 90 cents of every dollar goes to research, which is fantastic. Uh, I mean, that's, you know, I hope they find a cure for cancer, but that's even better than cancer research uh, in the sense of uh, how much money actually goes into the research. Uh, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation does a fantastic job in that regards. Okay. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Looking forward to seeing you out there on Saturday. Hopefully another great event. Thank you.